Welcome back. I've been waiting to hear more on this story mm -hmm. all day since we first <laughs> teased it at 4 o'clock. Could picking your nose raise your risk of Alzheimer's disease? While many scientists are doing very advanced research into preventing Alzheimer's, a recent paper is raising this eye-opening, bizarre question. Nose-opening, apparently. <laughs> Dr. Frank Mejor joins us with a new theory that's being floated by some, I guess, Australian researchers have been digging into this. <laughs> digging in, as it were, Kim and Devin, yes. So the idea is, when you pick your nose, you introduce microbes that can find a way to your brain through this really wafer-thin layer of bone right here at the tippy top of your nose. And the inflammation that those microbes produce, they might contribute to Alzheimer's. In their paper, the authors introduced the idea that nose picking might contribute to Alzheimer's disease by increasing the introduction of viruses, bacteria, and fungi deeper in the nose, bypassing our nose's natural defenses. Right now, this is only a theory, and while there are plausible elements, it raises a much simpler question. Can nose picking be harmful? We all have lots of bacteria on our fingers, and putting it inside of our nose can theoretically lead to a lot of infection. And according to Henry Ford Health ENT specialist Dr. Amrita Ray, People like to pick their noses. In fact, one survey found 91% of people admitted picking their nose, and a little over 1% said they habitually did it once an hour. Known as rhinotelexomania, it's the compulsion to pick your nose. Generally speaking, we try to tell people to avoid picking their noses because all these things disrupt that lining on the inside of their nose and make it more likely that you're going to get a bacteria that transfers from your finger to the inside. Not putting things inside the nose that shouldn't be there is number one uh, uh, way to help your nose stay functioning and healthy. But if you are in the majority and do pick your nose, she has this consolation. The likelihood that picking your nose is going to cause a sinus infection or a brain infection would be very, very low, in my opinion. So back to the nose picking Alzheimer's theory. The idea there is not that nose picking causes some massive fatal infection, but it's that over time, the repeated chronic introduction of viruses, bacteria, and fungi, that might lead to a low level in inflammation in the brain that actually ultimately predisposes to Alzheimer's. Okay, so you know my question is going to be about my five-year-old because I'm yes. always worried about, but uh, children, they pick their nose a lot. Is that a concern? Every child. I, every child, every child does, but, and, and really the concern is kind of sort of. Here's the deal. You know, it's definitely not helpful, of course, to put viruses, bacteria, and whatnot that are on your fingers up into your nose. And that's part of the reason, of course, that kids get so many respiratory infections. But unfortunately, other than discouraging the habit, there's really not a whole lot we can do when it comes to kids and nose picking. Rhinotelexomania. Rhinotelexomania. You are so mm -hmm. handy. Your to calendar have of the day. Man, that is fantastic <laughs> stuff. All right, sure. Doc.